Hi guys, this is Gaurav right now. Okay, and today what we're going to do through is we are going to go through something which is called as Facebook Canvas Ads. Okay, and uh, let me quickly walk you through that what is really a Facebook Canvas ad. So let's go to our Facebook application right now. All right, here we go. Okay, that's our Facebook application. Uh, so now what Facebook Canvas ads are. So I'll just go into my screen. All right, let's just go here. So yes, it's a new ad format. Uh, it's a new ad format by Facebook right now. You could see right here. That's one of the ads by MI on my, uh, you know, what do you say on my timeline. And uh, when I talk about this ads, so these ads are pretty amazing. So it says fast as light and it gives you kind of an arrow to open up. And these are only mobile only ads right now and if i click on it right now look at this how beautifully it would open up a screen uh which would be kind of a micro website you may say very beautiful looking uh micro website which opens as soon as you uh click on it okay it has like all different kinds of call to actions like uh, what all what, what should i say it's, it's just just very classy okay very very classy uh, the kind of ads which you're talking about Okay, I just clicked on a call to action, I believe, and that's how it took me to MI5. Okay, so this is one of the ads which has been uh, very recent, and I'll show you a couple of more examples of this. So, uh, just give me a second. Sorry. Okay, here we go. Mm, so, let's just go into one of the pages. Okay, here we go, got it. So guys, this is one of the pages that keeps on uh, reposting all the Facebook Canvas ads. So a couple of more uh, to just showcase you. One is this one right now, you could see uh, for Vodafone Turkey, I guess. And look at this, how beautifully it plays like this. Matt, blah, blah, blah. And 2 DGB, 750 disk, means It's kind of a beautiful ad. It's a beautiful ad actually, so it's a video as well somewhere video. anyways that's one of the ads and uh, let's scroll down a little bit more and let's try to see another one this is from I guess T-Mobile and uh, this is also a classy ad let's go and click on it and let's see and what moves me it's great music great music can change your day and change your life Beats has it all they have the style extreme look at this beautiful it's a video and then you could see I could go ahead and uh, tilt my mobile device and it will move according to that and when you go further down look at this they have all the beautiful uh, you know shopping ads kind of thing right now in mobile and it's, it looks amazingly amazingly when and, and ending it with a call to action so this, these kind of ads are extremely oh, amazing I must say. Okay. Like uh, let's just go cool. back show me a couple of more this is Wendy's amazing ad again uh, so when you click on this, this only works in mobile. That's why I have to shoot up in mobile right now. Let's take it from the top. You could see it right now. This is my screen. And when I go further, it just tells me about the crest. You could tilt your phone to see uh, the entire cheese base or uh, whatever they have in terms of it. Then you could go ahead. The lettuce, ketchup, and you know, onions, everything right here. So basically, it's just going to be amazing stuff. The, the way they are cooking it up. And then in the end, you could see that there's going to call to it. There is going to be call to action. The difference is in the layer. Okay, so that's another one. So these are various formats which we have. Uh, you know, we have quite a lot of formats from Jordan. Uh, then we have from Burberry. Really, really crazy amount of formats. Good, good formats with these ads. And I believe this can uh, really help you in mobile marketing. Okay, so. I'll switch it off from here and I'll take you to my, uh, you know, uh, my Facebook ads manager and I will show you how exactly you have to create these ads. Okay, so I'll see you in a moment. We are here now on our Facebook page. Okay, so now what you need to do is you need to go into one of your pages. Any page you have right now, I have got this page, so I'll go quick, quickly go into this page so now what you need to do to make a canvas ads is uh, you need to go into publishing tools you need to go into publishing tools right away so 
it would be right on top and these publishing tools i guess would only appear once you have more than 30 likes as far as i remember okay so once you are here so guys on the left hand side you'll see there is something called as canvas something called as canvas okay so now you click on those canvas and then uh, it will give you two uh, default canvas which are there or one was made by me and one was already a tutorial okay and now you could say create now you could say create okay so when you say create there are a lot of uh, this would be a preview right here and uh, you could select a theme uh, white black or you could have a custom theme in terms of uh, color combinations whatever color combinations you want okay uh, then you could have a mid header right now this is mostly a logo let me upload a little logo right away so I've got a couple of things here so I'll use that so a uh, background color if you want for the logo you could have it I'm gonna have a little uh, similar matching color here we go now once you've done this after that you need to put some photos recommended image uh, width of 1080 pixels it says photos add, you could have a photo you could have a button uh, you could even add components if you want and you could have a video as well let me take a video and then let me just uh, move this up so video would be autoplay guys the video is going to be an autoplay a wonderful way to uh, actually go and have call to action so i do have some videos with me i would love to just say right let me just choose it upload a video i have uploading a video i have a couple of videos i have i'm just really seeing which one to upload all right so this one should work Okay, I'll upload a video right now. Video is going to be auto autoplay. Then uh, next we have photograph, which we need to have. Okay, uh, photograph or whatever you wish to have. You could also have tap to expand or or tilt to plane or whatever. You could also have a destination URL for the photo. You could do all sorts of things. Let's see if we have some photo with us. Uh, matching photograph would really help. Do, do, do. Let's just see. So now what you'll see is you'll start seeing this, uh, to, you know, uh, right now you could see 5x your open rates and uh, you have right here uh, my photo and the, the video is being encoded and look at this now the video is already there. So now we have a, a top on the top we have one particular logo and with a background color then we have something which is a video. Now video is always going to be autoplay. You could have tilt to plan or default. Okay. I would prefer, uh, you know, advise you to make it default because then it fits in uh, the screen itself. Otherwise, if you say tilt to pan, you will have to actually uh, go ahead and tilt your phone. The user will have to tilt his phone to actually see the entire part of the video. Then we have a photo. I could give it a URL right now. Okay, so you could give it your URL, landing page URL, that would be best. You could also have a uh, tap to expand if you want, or you could also have a tilt to plan. Look at this. For tilt, it would become a little different. For default, uh, that's what we, it is recommended for this image. If it is a bigger image, then you could that, take that. Then you have button, and you say write. It says write something. Okay. Uh, click here to get instant access. All right. And now I could design the button. Uh, I could do HTTP again, go malone.com. Okay. Uh, now button color you could see right here. So whatever button color you want, you could have it. All right. Also, you could also go ahead and have do the other parts like to, to fill this. And you could also have make it white here. Look at this, how beautiful it becomes now. <laughs> So all together now, uh, this is a canvas ad. You could also say fix to bottom. Now the button would be fixed to bottom. You keep on adding more components. The button would always remain fixed at the bottom. It's a nice way. Uh, again, you could also do that and you could have add component now further. So you have also a carousal uh, coming here right now. And in carousal, you could have multiple uh, products, which would be here, at least two images at carousal it says. Okay, I would need some good images. Let me see if I have a few. Mm -mm -mm. Just give me a second. I have a couple of screenshots here. 
<laughs> so I would need some images here. So let's just see if I have some images. Okay. So basically, you get the gist of it, right? So you, I'll just put some couple of uh, images for now. I'll put another one. Uh, so waiting for another one. That should do. Okay. Now these images, you could move it up, down. So let me just up. Look at this. That becomes a carousal kind of thing. So now, uh, what happens is you could have a video, uh, which is an autoplay video. Then you could have something which is uh, going to reflect right here, five x open rates, which is an, kind of an image. You could have banners, whatever you want. And then you could have a carousal uh, playing here. This is kind of a carousal right now. You could see. Keep the size same. And then you could also have something which is right here, uh, a button. Okay, a call to action in the end. So all uh, doing all this, once you've done all these things, okay, what you need to do is you need to give your name. Uh, let's say this is Garov's demo canvas. Okay, and once you've done that, you could also have a quick preview. You could save the draft. Uh, there is something which we need to fix. This image width is uh, more than three times larger than its height. Image has been scaled to fit your canvas, which may affect your quality. That's fine. So what all things are left now? Image must be the same size. Look at this. That's what it says. Image must be the same size. So uh, that's something which I'm having as a problem right now. So I'll remove this canvas. I mean, uh, uh, carousal, you could have the same image carousal. And I'm, all I'm going to do is that's it right here. And I'm going to say save draft. So this is one of the canvas which I've built right now. Okay. And uh, I could say finish as well. Or I could just push it. Uh, okay, so I could push it right now, send a preview to the canvas to your phone or mobile device. Okay, uh, you could do that right now. Uh, if you click on this, what will happen is a, a notification would be sent to the mobile phone. So now a notification must have come on my mobile phone saying that the canvas is ready. Okay, so I'm uh, right now just browsing my mobile phone. Unfortunately, I cannot show you my screen right now. You will be able to do it when you are able to You'll see it yourself. Now, and I just uh, opened it. And I have a video playing autoplay and anyways that's, that's something in mobile which I did you could just do it yourself as well and you'll get the difference it will be opening in mobile app okay and then once you're done you say finish once you're done you say finish okay now once you have done and said finish now this is a get URL okay when you see two options create page post or get URL right you could create a page post or uh, you could have a get URL right now now what you need to do is you need to say get URL, copy this. Okay, once you copy this, you need to go ahead and now let's quickly go ahead into our Facebook ad, Ads Manager. So guys, once you have created your Canvas ad, all you need to do is go into your Ad Manager. Right now I'm into my Ad Manager, you can see. Okay, so uh, from your Ad Manager, there would be an option which would say, please go into your Power Editor. Okay, so you have to go into your Power Editor right away. Okay. So you're going to power editor. The power editor is right here. I've opened my power editor already. Now all you need to do is create a new ad. Uh, not really ad. I would say create a campaign rather. You create a new campaign. You say uh, let's say Gaurav's first canvas. Then you need to have clicks to website. Select clicks to website here. You need to go ahead and say choose an ad set. Uh, first canvas set and then an ad test canvas one. Okay, you go to go ahead and create. You need to go ahead and say create. Now, once you've created this, uh, it's absolutely fine. This is clicks to website. You're going to add sets level and you do the budgeting. Then you could actually go ahead and into the ad part right away. The final part, which is advertisement. So I'll just go ahead and have my page rolled up. And now once you're here, look at this, it says website URL or select a canvas. Okay, all you need to do is select a canvas. Uh, you could have that canvas doc, which is there right now. Okay, or you could delete this, but not really have canvas. You could have website URL right here. And uh, what you could do is you could go back and take this URL now and put this into right here and uh, boom, it goes right here. 
do, do, do. remove Instagram, it's not supported for Instagram actually. So now you could see that's how my canvas is right here. Okay, my canvas is right here and it has taken the image because that's the only image which is there in that particular canvas. You could have another image and you could make sure that uh, fits the screen and it's uh, probably you know as advisable so you could also have a headline image right here you could choose another image and you could have your little tags and whatnot uh, just you need to go ahead and now say review changes and it would be done okay so that's guys that's how uh, your canvas ads you you make a canvas ads extremely simple first you'll have to go into your Facebook publishing tools I mean your page you'll have to create a canvas make remember one thing uh, once you have created the canvas you cannot edit it okay so it's always important you preview your canvas before you actually finish it okay you cannot i cannot up now uh, edit this canvas it's already done second go into your ads manager from there go into your power editor from power editor create clicks to website as a campaign okay select uh, uh, a new ad set and then a new ad and in your new ad just go ahead and paste the url right here in website url okay and canvas will be reflected right here and you could even see if you could actually see uh, from right here which canvas you've selected okay so that's all uh, right now that's all right now from my side I hope you really enjoyed the series and I'm hopeful that you'll test it for your mobile campaigns this is uh, purely a micro website built in all together and uh, specifically it loads up pretty 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 fast okay so that's that's one thing and second thing is if you're doing mobile campaigns guys this can really turn out to be a great asset for you because in mobile campaigns in Facebook now when you direct the person to a landing page uh, sometimes what happens is the conversions cost is more conversions cost is more whereas if you go through this particular option you could still uh, go ahead and direct the person to, to a particular call to action though you cannot have a form here yet okay we are hopeful that the form integration will be done but then not yet uh, and but you can definitely direct the person to your uh, you know to your uh, particular landing page or for that matter to your particular uh, sales page as well and that's where you would easily be able to do all those things also another feature of Facebook canvas is actually it gives you an op option uh, right now uh, 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 so let me just cancel this so now normally when I click on this and I click on add component right now what you see is only couple of things okay uh, one thing which is missing from here is product catalog the product catalog option is also available okay unfortunately it's not reflected in this page but normally you'll also find a sixth option which will say product catalog okay a product catalog uh, so I hope you've enjoyed this video thank you so much for uh, you know uh, watching this video and uh, I'll see you in the next one till then it's me God of standing off have a great day guys